When you scroll through YouTube, you see them everywhere. These beautiful and obviously expensive aquariums. As a student, I had to ask myself, is it theoretically possible to build a tank that looks just as good, but without spending a fortune, by just using the science behind it? The truth is, you only need to master five key principles, and the first one is the engine of your ecosystem, the living substrate. Most people see the substrate as just decoration, a little bit of gravel and a few stones. A properly chosen a living substrate is the invisible engine of your entire ecosystem. The difference between dead gravel and a living soil substrate is massive. The answer lies in two scientific principles. The first principle is called mineralization. Think of the soil like a built-in, slow-release fertilizer factory. Your plants are basically being fed 24-7 from below. But now comes the real secret that makes soil so superior. It's a principle called Cation Exchange Capacity, or CSC for short. Sounds complicated, but it's actually quite simple. Imagine the substrate is an intelligent nutrient magnet. Gravel and sand are basically non-magnetic. Their CSC value is close to zero. So when you add fertilizer, those expensive nutrients just float around uselessly in the water. A perfect meal for algae. Aquasoil, on the other hand, has a high negative charge. It pulls the positively charged nutrients like iron and potassium out of the water just like a magnet and stores them and only gives them to the plant roots only when they need them. And the difference is staggering. Where sand has a CSC value of less than 1, high quality soils can reach values of over 40. That makes them over 40 times better at storing nutrients. By understanding your substrate not as decoration but as a scientific engine of your tank, you replace expensive fertilizing systems with pure functioning biology. The most common advice for algae problems is less light. But it's only half the truth. The biggest mistake most people make isn't too much light, it's the wrong light. Forget everything you've heard about watts per gallon or lumens, those are very outdated metrics that only describe how bright a light looks to the human eye. But your plants see light completely different. The only scientific metric that truly matters is PAR, photosynthetically active radiation. It measures the actual number of light photons your plants can use for photosynthesis. The chlorophyll in your plants mainly absorbs red and blue light for photosynthesis. Green light is mostly reflected. This is the exact reason why our eyes see plants as green. Many types of algae, on the other hand, are less picky and can use a much broader spectrum far more efficiently. So what's the big takeaway you can implement today without spending a single euro? It's this. Give your aquarium a siesta. Instead of running your light for 8 hours straight, split the lighting period. 4 hours of light in the morning, a 4 hour break in the middle of the day and then another 4 hours of light in the evening. Most algae are primitive. Their reproductive cycle gets completely thrown off by the dark period. Your higher plants, however, don't mind the break at all. On top of that, during this siesta, the CO2 levels in your water can naturally replenish, giving your plants a fresh boost for the second half of the day. You're using a simple timer to outsmart the algae on a biological level. That's replacing money with knowledge. Okay, so we've understood the engine of the tank and optimized the power source. But now we get to the most invisible but most important pillar of all, the immune system of your water. Many beginners desperately chase a perfect pH number, like 7 or 7.4, constantly pouring chemicals into the tank to reach it. This is one of the biggest mistakes. Because the truth is, your fish don't even die from the wrong pH, they die from unstable values. And the scientific key to stability has a name, carbonate hardness, or KH for short. Think of the carbonate hardness as a personal bodyguard for your pH. Through the natural nitrogen cycle, your aquarium constantly produces acids that want to push the pH down. As long as your KH value is high enough, this bodyguard intercepts the attack and keeps the pH stable. But if the carbonate hardness drops to zero, this protection is gone and you risk a sudden fatal pH crash. But there's a second invisible enemy to stability, the accumulation of waste products. We measure this with the TDS value, the invisible fingerprint of your water. Every uneaten flake of food, every tiny bit of fish waste, 
all of it dissolves invisibly in the water. And this is the trap of crystal clear water. It looks clean, but the invisible stress of your fish increases day by day. A high TDS value is like breathing stale air in a closed room, and it's the primary fuel for the next algae bloom. Let's move on to the fourth pillar, which is often misunderstood as just decoration. Your actual plants. Your plants are not just decoration, they are the green lungs and the water treatment plant of your entire ecosystem. And if you understand how they work, you will never need to buy expensive algicides again. The first scientific principle here is simple competition. Think of it like a race for food. Algae and your plants are fighting for the exact same nutrients in the water, especially nitrate and phosphate. They can multiply explosively when there's an excess of nutrients, but a dense healthy planting, especially with fast growing species, is the marathon runner. It consumes nutrients continuously, starving the algae of their food source. They simply die off. But plants are not just nutrient consumers, they are the lungs of your tank. The billions of beneficial bacteria in your filter and substrate also need oxygen to break down toxic waste like ammonia and nitrate. By planting your tank heavily from the start, you create a powerful living competitor for algae and a constant source of oxygen for your entire ecosystem. A handful of fast growing plants for 10 euros is often a better and more suitable way than any expensive tech gadget. There is one last crucial factor that makes the entire system run or collapse, the metabolism. And the biggest beginner mistake is to overload this metabolism. You buy a tank, a filter and on the same weekend 20 beautiful fish and one week later you wonder why everything has gone wrong. To understand it scientifically let's imagine our aquarium as this bucket. Every inhibitant you add and every flake of fruit you feed creates an invisible load on the system, the so called bio load. This load is like water flowing into the bucket. Your filter is the drain. Its only truly important job is to continuously process this load. As long as you give the system time and increase the load slowly, the drain can keep up. The ecosystem is in balance. But what happens if you make the classic beginner mistake and add too many fish at once? The filter is instantly overloaded. The bucket overflows and this overflow is a toxic ammonia spike that makes your fish sick or even kills them. You didn't harm the fish directly, you made the system's metabolism collapse. And that's the fifth and final pillar. Don't think of your filter as a trash can, but as the living engine that handles your tank's metabolism. By stocking your tank slowly and intelligently, instead of buying the biggest, most expensive filter and overloading it, you ensure a stable system from the start. You're not just saving money on unnecessary tech, but also on medication and new fish. So I get that this is a lot. And these are all invisible processes. And this is the biggest challenge of every aquarist. How do you keep an eye on all these complex interactions without measuring and testing every hour or every day? The one smart level that connects all these dots is consistent and reliable data. And high-tech tanks solve this with expensive controllers. But the real intelligence is not in the high-tech device, it's in the data it delivers. And that's exactly why I created Aquaware. It's not just another sensor, it's the brain of your ecosystem. It makes the whole invisible science that we understood in the past minutes completely visible and understandable for you. It warns you before your water's immune system gets weak and gives you the data to make the right and meaningful decisions. My mission with Aquaware is to give every aquarist in the whole world the tools and knowledge to master this exact foundation. So if you want to be part of this journey and make the whole ecosystem understandable, then join my journey and follow this Kickstarter page I have set up. So this was also my very first YouTube video, so every feedback would be very welcoming. Then, thanks for watching, I see you in the next video.